Many generations now, we have suffered. The Washichu we spoke to, but they don't hear, they're deaf. The women, the children, the old ones, they suffer. You from the cities, you are our warriors. I remember back in the 90s when it was a big stink being made about that. This whole fucking, this is gay, this is our land, man. I don't give a fuck where it's at. This is our land. Where not, wherever we walk, if, you, if you're a so-called Native American, wherever you walk is Indian land. That's right. And people are like, well, this is not your... Fuck the treaty. They'll say, this is a, like me, I'm a so-called Seminole from Florida. My tribe and my people are from Florida. I'm up here in Connecticut. I don't give a fuck. I'm walking around. <laughs> this is Indian land wherever I walk. That's right. Wherever under my feet takes me is Indian land on this... Turf on this continent, man. Okay. Because number one, we're Israelites and we're family. That's right. So it doesn't matter if if, if you're out west or if you're in the Midwest or if you're in, if the, you're in New South York East, City, if you're in New Northeast, or if you're so, walking in Brooklyn. That's right. Brooklyn belongs to the Kanasi. <laughs> Brooklyn, New York. That's why they have a place there called Kanasi. They, they have a, a neighborhood called Kanasi, Brooklyn, and I know a woman who is of that tribe. All those people were pushed out west. Some of them are still around the Canarsie. See? So New York City, the Dutch came in and stole that. Henry Hudson. When he came into what's known as the Hudson Bay. See what I'm saying? That's a lot. It says, after the destruction of the Pequot in 1637, which we're reading about, and I'm going to go back to reading about more history on the Pequots. It says, the Mohegan laid claim to their territory and that of the western Nahantic in the south part of New London County. The tribes west of them on Connecticut River, whom they sometimes claim as subjects, were generally hostile to them, as were also the Narragansett, like you said. On their east border, the Mohegans seem to have been the eastern branch of that group of closely from the vicinity of Narragansett Bay to the farther side of the Hudson. It says the whites, the eastern and western bodies, have had no political connection. It says at New England, the Mohegan and Pequot formed but one tribe under the rule of uh, Sasakis Pequot chief Uncas a subordinate chief connected by marriage with the family uh, with the family of, of Sasakis and, and assumed a distinct authority as leader of the uh, uh, as leader of a band of the Thames River afterward known as the history of the Mohegan because Uncas, that's why the um, casino is, is the where it's at. It's called Uncasville, Connecticut. Because it goes back to this particular um, Mohegan chief named Uncas, who was actually a Pequot. He married the daughter of Sasakis. And um, then when, it, when Esau came, he wanted to deal with Esau differently than Sasakis wanted to deal with Esau. He wanted to be more of an Uncle Tom. So then he broke off, and basically the ones who left with him, they called themselves Mohegan, or the wolf people. Yeah, them Uncle Tomahawks, man. So that's, them, that's them Uncle Tomahawks. Like, I, like I, uh, I just recently saw that movie, The Lone Ranger and Tonto, and I was disappointed. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Basically, Tonto was a, was an Uncle Tom. Mm -hmm. He was an Uncle Tomahawk, man. Okay? 
He ain't supposed to be working with no white man trying to help the white man. He's supposed to be trying to bring him down. And that movie was total derogatory, man, toward Indians, man. But we'll get into that in another show. That's going to be the next topic we're going to do. Yep. Uh, breaking down the Lone Range and Tonto movie. All right, go ahead. Yep. And um, that's the, that's pretty much the crux of that with um, the Mohegan and, um, and this guy. I could go back here to uh, okay. be quiet. Because the history is pretty much intertwined anyway. Um, it says here, uh, 1633, um, no, I'm going to start at, at, at the next one. It says, New England, early 17th century, strong cultural and religious differences exist between Native Americans and European settlers. In 1619, disease carried by Europeans caused a massive epidemic, killing about 90% of the native population along the coast of New England. That means... Up that like ninety five goes up the, is is the east coast from Florida all the way up into motherfucking Maine. That's the east coast of America. Along that coastline, Gad was all along that coastline, and ninety percent of them died from what smallpox. And um, it says uh, that the epidemic does not reach the Pequots or the Narragansett and Niantic neighbors. You got a place called Niantic, Connecticut. They got a prison up there called Niantic. That's where the women go, Niantic. Niantic, Connecticut, that's a Gadite name. Niantic is a Gadite name. Narragansett is a Gadite Connecticut's a Gadite name. Wampanoag is a Gadite name. Pawkatuck, Connecticut, that Pawkatuck is a Gadite name. Because I've been to Pawkatuck, Connecticut, uh, doing deliveries out there. Um, it says the epidemic does not reach the Pequots or the Narragansett and Niantic neighbors. Early Dutch settlers, like you said, the Dutch, uh, maintained a virtual trade monopoly with the native tribes for beaver furs used to make stylish hats in Europe. That's right, man. When the beaver pelt came in the style over here, it was a big hit in Europe to make those felts that those European crackers used to like to wear back during them times. So they needed that large demand for the beaver pelts, man. So then our people would go and start wasting beaver, man, to killing beaver like it was going out of style to supply that need for the trade goods from the white man. Yep. Trade was a big thing trade. in the so-called Americas, man for different animal hides and different goods that Esau wanted. Yep. And we would get it and that's how we got metal weapons to make metal tomahawks. Prior to that we used stone and flint rock. Okay, but then we started using metal. We, we got some good things from Esau, the metal. Okay, rifles, which it, you, once you gave a band of warriors rifles, man, you made them even more dangerous. That's right. More of a, of a threat. I was reading somewhere too about um, um when Gad was uh, Esau uh, Gad like that that red war paint, and um, the red war paint they used to deal with. They made it from certain berries or certain fruits. They made the red paint, and they would put it on themselves. But then Esau had that red paint, and they traded and got mercury. the red paint, and it had mercury. And a lot of people and died from that. A lot of them up from mercury poisoning from putting that red paint on their skin because Gad is not motherfucking red. They're brown, That's like right. me and this brother, different shades of brown. That's right. But they wore the red war paint, which symbolizes war. That's right. But they're the warrior tribe. They're uh, Gad, the tribes of Gad and Reuben and uh, Manasseh and um, uh, Asher, those are the, basically the four warrior tribes of Israel. Basically, you could call, call us the, the motherfucking Marines, man. That's right. All Israel was warriors. All Israel was, all Israel was warriors. All Israel was bad as hell. But Gad and Reuben and Manasseh that was and um, Asher, when they, when they came to war, those four were the ones that went right into the shit. That's what he, Esau's whole fucking military system is based off of Israel. Gad. Yeah. It's based off of Israel. It's based off of the way that Gad lived off the land. How Gad, because Gad waged guerrilla warfare. Gad didn't come at you straight up like I was saying earlier. Gad used stealth. Esau didn't use stuff. Them English uh, colonists, they get their little musket and a thousand of them line up and they sit there and boom, fire. And the, the French fought the same way. And the French fought the, the Dutch, same that's way. That's how all the European armies at the time fought. They would meet on the battlefield and just walk right into each other. Each other walk, and walking right into cannonballs. Walking right into cannonballs. Walking into fucking bullets. Yeah, shit. walking right into, uh, <laughs> <laughs> right into, uh, uh, uh what what they call the, the guns? Muskets. Muskets. Yeah. Walking right into musket fire, man. Just walking right into it. Stupid motherfuckers. But when Gad dealt with you, they painted their faces, they cloaked themselves with the force. Good example. Watch the movie Last of the, Mo uh, Last of the Mohicans. Good movie. With Wes Studi and Daniel Day-Lewis. That movie showed you. Uh, the character, the Huron warrior, Magua, that Wes Studi played, 
he waged guerrilla warfare on them crackers and he was messing them all up. Okay? So that, that movie is a prime example of, that gives you a depiction of the time period that we're reading about. Yep. Last of the Mohicans. Alright? It says, uh, let me see, uh, the, uh, about the uh, stylish hats in Europe. The arrival of the English in Massachusetts offers a trading alternative for the natives. Like you said, trading was real big then. The Europeans view the natives as heathens and agents of Satan. They also fear for survival and what they see. Isn't that something when it's really the other way around? That's something that's the other way around. Them so-called white people came over here saying, we're heathens and the, dev the devil's children, and it was the other way around. They're the damn devil's children, but they were deceived. The Lord deceived these sort to believe that they really were the people of the Lord when they came over here, these white people. The most high put a demon on them to make them think that God was really dealing with them and that the Indians were the devil. Right, on. The perceptions further fuel misunderstandings and miscommunications that will lead to bloodshed. In 1633, a second epidemic does not spare any of the tribes. The epidemic caused by smallpox reduces the Pequot population from about 8,000 to about 4,000 and seriously affects other tribes. Man, that's a lot of fucking people dropping dead. A lot, that's half. That's a lot of people dropping dead, man. Really grasp the, the, of that, man. Read on. The catastrophic loss of population upsets all aspects of native life, creates uncertainty about the native's policy toward the Europeans, and increases competitions for trade. These events, along with increasing native European trade conflicts, set the stage for Disagreements resulting in violence. It's just like today, man. That's why we all sickly and fucked up because of the white man. Mm -hmm. The white man got the, the food. The, first of all, now the food, GMO food with all kind of chemicals and poison in it. The air we food. breathe in is poison. That's why we're all sickly. Brothers, have, we have infirmities, man. High blood pressure, diabetes, different things brothers is dealing with. You understand what I'm saying? Because of you damn white people, you devils, man. Read on. It says uh, resulting in violence and blood blood vengeance, conflicts within and among the native tribes contribute to the confusion, hostilities are mounting, cousin and clan brother are pitted against one another. That's what the fuck has been going on, that's been going on since back then. And all because you fucking devils, man. They were trying to cow a favor with you motherfucking devils. And Judah does that to themselves. Benjamin does it to themselves. Levi does it to themselves. Ephraim does it to themselves. Simeon does it to themselves. Manasseh does it to themselves. Meaning the Cubans, the Dominicans do it to all themselves. The tribes, all, the tribes. all the tribes motherfucking wage war and kill each other to get a couple crumbs from motherfucking Esau. All the tribes do that same shit. Um, it says here, in early 1634, Pequot strength is concentrated along the Pequot, now Thames River, in Mystic, basically, and Mystic Rivers in what is now southeastern Connecticut. You know, Mystic Connecticut, Stonington. Up there, where, up there, up there, so you can where understand the are. where the casinos are. Yeah. Because Foxwoods and uh, Mohegan are only about maybe 15, well, let's say 20 minutes 20 away minutes from apart. each other. Yeah. Okay? It says, in a desperate attempt by the Pequots to regain their trade monopoly, lost to other tribes, they attack and kill some Narragansetts, attempted to trade at a Dutch trading post called the House of Hope. The Dutch retaliate, and one of the skirmishes that follow, the Dutch kidnap the Pequot Grand Sachem, which Tatobin. is a chief. A Sachem is a chief. Ta a Sachem is a chief. Yeah. Tatobin, his name was Tatobin. Despite the Pequot's payment of now, the Pequot's paid a ransom to get Tatobin back. It says, despite the Pequot's payment of the ransom, the Dutch executed him. So they took the money and executed him anyway. Fucking devils. It says, with the with the death of Tatobin, his son Sasukets becomes Grand Sachem of the Pequot. Sasukets is the man who his daughter married Uncas. Uh, Uncasville, Connecticut. Uncas was a chief among the Pequots who broke off and became Mohegan. And then see what Esau does? He actually named some of these lands after the natives that were here that he fucked over. Yeah. Like that was, well, uh, that's supposed to be some kind of acknowledgement. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll just name this town after that little Indian we killed. Yeah. And that's, that's our way of saying we're sorry or whatever or acknowledging him. Okay. Here in Connecticut, there's a lot of, even around here in Bridgeport, they got Indian Road Field. A lot of these names have, uh, roads and streets have Indian names. A lot of these towns here in Connecticut have Indian names. That's right. Right? Yep, like Housatonic. Shit, down in uh, Greenwich, Avenue. down in Greenwich, there's a street called Osceola. Mm. Now, Osceola was from Florida, from my tribe of the Simpsons. Mm -hmm. what, 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 what did they do? What did they know about Osceola up here? Right? Um, 
Uh, so that there's more if you want me to keep. I mean, there's so much history. Yeah. 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 Many generations now, we have suffered the Washichu we spoke to, but they don't hear their death. The women, the children, the old ones, they suffer. You from the cities, you are our warriors. In the sacred way! You said that!